Hey everybody, how's life treating you? I'm Russ Robo and welcome back to the Robot Arena 2 DSL Mod 2.2 Tournament of Robotic Champions Middleweight Division. Today we've got some exciting matches. Team Red Zone's Red Alert versus Team Prehistoric Saber Teeth. The Good Old Boys Blood Runner versus Team Dragon Samurai. Black Storm's Devil 2 versus the Team Sparks The Boxer Returns. And Spikehead's Insanity versus the North Polar's Iceberg. We'll see if this tournament turns out to be much like last season's tournament. The competitor, the teams may be the same, but the competitors have been upgraded and are very different. We never know what might happen in this season, and they will be fighting in the Octagon. So, without further ado, let's get right into the match. Welcome to the Octagon! We've got a great match coming your way this evening. This arena provides a little bit of everything. Hmm. <laughs> I've never felt I did a few a test matches with uh, with some of the bots in some of the arenas. This one seems to be pretty good. And as it turns out, even if you choose to put the time limit up to 20 minutes or 2 minutes or... Ooh, and a heavy hit from Red Alert and Sabreteeth. Sabreteeth seems to be getting a lot of high damage on the sides. Red Alert's got wheels exposed. Let's see if Sabretooth's plate can protect him from those devastating hammers. It doesn't look like so. He's getting uh, beaten to death. We've got to count out for both bots. The plates are sliding back, and Sabretooth goes down into the, into the pit. Um, it turns out, even if you um, increase the match time to 20 minutes from 3 minutes, the, um, pit slide, the pits slide back after like a minute or so. No matter what the time limit is on, even if there is no time limit, even if it's unlimited. So best two out of three, let's give him one more shot. Enter the Next time I do this, I should try to randomize it somehow so that the team matchups aren't always the same. I only do it um, each team versus the team just below it because it makes it easier for me. But I do want to have it kind of randomized so that um, we can get upsets and surprise matches because it seems like no matter how many times they fight red alert will always win I mean does he really have such a distinct advantage and there goes the flipper on saber tooth he flips straight over but he's still right side up because it flips him 180 degrees all the way onto his right side instead of or was it 360 degrees it flipped him over real good life looks like red alert's got him trapped in the corner now he's he's Beating him alive with over 10,000 points. Pits are sliding back now. Sabretooth's in trouble again. He's getting pushed back to the pit, and there he goes. Yeah, next time I'm going to randomize it, because it seems like uh, no matter how many times they fight, Red Alert's always got a distinct advantage. Well, anyway, I'll get the next match set up, and we'll be right back. And we're back. Now we've got Team The Good Old Boys Blood Runner versus Team Dragon's Samurai. Oh, I, I think Bloodrunner's going to have a lot of fun with those pits in this arena. Let's see what they can do. Enter the Octagon. A perfect evening for some robot <laughs> destruction. This yeah, I wonder. Bloodrunner seems like he's going to be really fast. Who was the his previous model in um, the Vanilla Robot Arena 2? I'm not sure. Seems almost like I can remember it. Just oh, instead of Blood Runner, it was Mud Runner. Right, I remember now. And off they go. Samurai takes a hit from the uh, floor flipper, but it looks like he's got his swords up against Blood Runner's bottom end. If he's lucky, he can eliminate those tires. Somebody's smoking. Blood Runner's getting some damage. Let me. Whoa! And there he goes. Oh, he's up underneath the swords now. He's jammed up in them. Samurai with 1,000 points. Bloodrunner with 3,400. The pits are open. Not sure who has the advantage in control, but somehow Bloodrunner's... Ah, it's that blade on the top of his bot. He's still racking up points on the side of Samurai. And of course, Samurai with those spikes. He's having a lot of trouble there, but both bots still racking up good amounts of points. 3,000 for Samurai. Bloodrunner with over 5,000 now. That plate's definitely protecting the front of Samurai from... 
having his control box destroyed, and there's the floor flip from Bloodrunner, or on Bloodrunner. Samurai's trying to get him back towards the pits now, but Bloodrunner's no pushover, literally. Fully invertible, Bloodrunner seems to have the advantage in this match, but Samurai's not just going to give it to him. He may actually be able to put him, push him back to the pits with one last good shove. The audience is excited. They're liking this match. We've got Samurai with over 7,000 points. Bloodrunner just ahead with over 8,000. They seem to be evenly matched. Very close match right now with both bots smoking. Uh-oh, Samurai's, uh, Samurai's taking enough chassis damage to expose the control panel. One or two more good hits and Bloodrunner has it. And as he slowly backs himself into the pit. Boop, there he goes. Man, what a good match. Oh, I'm glad we're doing best two out of three on that one. Let's give uh, Team Dragon Samurai another shot and see what he can do. Welcome to the Octagon. We've got a great match coming your way this evening. This arena provides a little bit of everything. I do like the hammers. When they hit, you you feel it. You know it. And I tried some of the earlier DSL arenas, but I don't think the DSL arenas were created with camera angles in mind, and some of them are just really ridiculous. This one I like because I can control the camera as if I were in the arena. Same as last time, Samurai takes a hit from the floor flippers. Bloodrunner's trying to get that good angle. Looks like he's dealing some damage to one of the blades. If it comes off, Samurai could be in trouble because that's half his damage right there. Immobility warning on Samurai. We've got Bloodrunner trying to get up to the front of Samurai. Samurai's on smoking on fire now. Bloodrunner takes a, a hit from the floor flippers and the pits roll back. Samurai's getting good hits on those tires, but it doesn't look like they're going to go... Whoa! Ends a lot of floor flips on Samurai. Doesn't look like those tires from Bloodrunner are going to go anytime soon. Bloodrunner's got a great angle on Samurai. Samurai's in big trouble. He's getting pushed back towards the pits. The hammers might engage if they're not careful. Samurai's smoking on fire. He's falling down to the back end of Bloodrunner. Bloodrunner might actually push himself accidentally into the pits if he's not careful. Samurai's got him at a good angle. But Bloodrunner also gets a lot of points off of that angle. Samurai's smoking now. Bloodrunner's pushing him back towards the pit. There seems to be a... Malfunction with Bloodrunner's blade, it's not spinning all the time. It's spinning every now and again. I'm going to have a lot of trouble if I have to face either one of these bots. The bot that I designed, I might be able to show it to you after the... Uh, whoa! And Bloodrunner almost falls himself into the pit. You better be careful there. Looks like the floor flippers are going to get on Samurai again. Amazing how these bots manage to keep all their wheels and all their weapons intact. 6,000 points for Samurai, 6,788 points for Bloodrunner. A very close match, but Samurai seems to have his sword stuck under Bloodrunner's axles. Bloodrunner's going to need to get a little bit closer to get that... Oh no, he's still dealing damage, and the plate comes off of Samurai. The audience is going wild as Bloodrunner racks up the points. Wait, no, the point count is stopped, and now it resumes again. Both bots getting counted out immobile warnings. Both bots move back a little bit, then Bloodrunner moves forward. It looks like they're struggling now. And there's another plate coming off of Samurai. I think that was the protection plate for his front facing. He's going to be taking a lot of uh, chassis damage now. Both bots seem to be smoking on fire. <laughs> oh, man. The audience is going crazy. Samurai's still got both of his blades, but you can't see one because it's actually caught up underneath Bloodrunner. Their chassis have been warped. They can barely move. And a countdown starts. Oh, and it looks like Samurai might be in trouble now. He's getting real close to that pit. Pushing Bloodrunner back. And they, they're they right in the center now. Perfectly evenly matched. But fighting like they're both just dying on the inside. Bloodrunner won the last one. Can Samurai pull it off? Samurai with 7,000 points, Bloodrunner with almost 9,000. I don't think Samurai's going to get this unless he's got a count out or a, a knockout. No. Oh, and both matches go to Bloodrunner. A great match, these two bots. Very impressive, very impressive performance. I'll get the next setup, the next match set up, and we'll be right back. And we're back. Now we've got Team Blackstorm's Devil 2 versus Team Sparks' The Boxer Returns. Without further ado, let's see what these bots are capable of in the Octagon. Welcome if I had to, to give it to anybody, uh, 
I'd say I want to vote for the Boxer 2. But Blackstorm 2 being built a little bit differently this time, I'm not sure. He's got that good ramp and those spikes. He looks pretty intimidating. Oh, I love the Boxer 2's, um, his chassis de uh, design. That, that wear and tear on it. Whoop, 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 whoop. Gotta get the camera ready. Whoa! Devil 2 comes out of nowhere, straight out of left field, flying across the arena. Boxer 2's in trouble from the very start. Oh man, we've got Devil 2 with over 3,000 points already. The Boxer returns with trailing at 1,664. You better be careful too. Uh, push bots will definitely have an advantage in this arena. And a spike comes off of the Devil 2. The Boxer returns, is able to deal really massive damage with those piston hands of his. You don't see a lot of piston using bots though, and the Boxer returns, and the Boxer, uh oh! And there goes Devil 2 into the pit, wow! Terrible, he actually, he, he definitely had the advantage there. Uh, being a push bot, you would think he would just push the Devil 2, or the Devil 2 being a push bot, you think he would have just pushed Team Sparks the Boxer returns right into the pit. But it looks like he actually had a little bit of a control malfunction there and wound up in the pit himself. The uh, driver of that team's going to need to work on their finesse. We've got the best two out of three second round coming up right now. Let's see if the Devil 2 can uh, redeem himself from that terrible mistake there. Very interesting indeed. I would have never thought to have used a design like that. The terrible part is, I swear, the middleweight bot that I've built so far is a middleweight. And it's designed like a middleweight, but it's... Whoa! And the Devil 2 comes out of nowhere straight out of left field again with that speed. Did he... Uh-oh! It looks like he's got the Boxer 2 stuck on the pit. <laughs> these bots with these tiny wheels. Oh, nope. They're both moving again. Um, the, the bot that I built for my uh, middleweight, he's going to have a lot of trouble against these middleweights because... Honestly, he'd make a great lightweight, but he's not really that impressive. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Get off there, Devil 2. Ooh, and just barely skirting in the nick of time. Oh, good, we get a third match. <laughs> and the Devil 2 just pushes the boxer. The boxer turns right in there. With only ten points. Man, okay. Well, I'm glad we get to try that again. Welcome to the Okay, best two out of three. Winner of this one takes it all. Oh look, the little audience. Well, I don't know if uh, I don't think you guys can see my person. I'm not sure if I left that on or not. Yeah, I really like his uh, chassis design. That's really good uh, weathering. Very nice. I wonder if I could make a piston bot. Boom! And another heavy hit. I like the way the Devil 2 comes in there. He, he shows no fear. It must be those wheels of his. He's very fast, very light on his feet. Which is interesting. You wouldn't think that he'd actually be a, a middleweight instead of a lightweight. He looks like a lightweight, but it's got to be those, uh, those spikes, because there's like five of them. The pit rolls back. Devil 2 still got the advantage in terms of control. Looks like he might be able to put the Boxer 2 right into the pit if he... He drives just right. Oh, the Boxer 2's out. There's no way. And there it goes. Devil 2 moves on. And you know what? That's different from last season. All right. I like the best two out of three matches. We'll get the next round set up. I believe it'll be the final one, and I'll be right back. And we're back. Now we have Team Spike Kids Insanity. Looks very interesting. Versus the North Polar's Iceberg. We'll get them set up in the Optagon and see what these two bots are capable of. Enter the final round of the night. Seems like it's going to be pretty good, or at least the final the match. Evening. They haven't had their rounds yet. Best two out of three, this of course. Provides a little bit of everything. Very interesting, the very interesting indeed. I don't think I've seen anything like that. Insanity. Wow. Very nice design. Look, that actually looks like ice. How'd they do that? There must be texture packs in this one that they didn't have in the last one, which I'll be very interested in to check out. Whoa, and both bots come in swinging. The floor flipper gets a good hit off on Iceberg. Both bots seem to be spike-type weapons, like uh, hammer spikes, piercing. They're uh, pretty well matched against each other, uh, as long as they can both stay on their feet. Oh, are neither one of them self-riding? 
Uh, doesn't look like they are from that angle. Uh-oh. They've got some trouble in this arena. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> That's terrible for them. Wow. They're both such, uh, they're both so strong starting off. Let's see. What should I do here? Should I, should I turn the, uh, should I turn the hazards off for at least a little bit to see, so that we can actually see them fight? Hmm. Let's, uh, let's try that without the hazards on. I, I don't know if that's fair, because they're just gonna wind up flipping over again. Hmm. Let's, uh, let's, let's try it without the hazards real quick. I hope, I hope you guys don't mind. Uh, the, the judges, uh, they've come in and decided that the, uh, hazards, uh, they, um, they interrupt the action in the match. Yeah, these, uh, aside from their main weapons, they're not really that self riding Now, see, I tried to use that, that little flipper there on a, a good spiked weapon. How come mine doesn't work? I need to get back into practice with building bots. My middleweight sucks. Oh, what a heavy hit from Iceberg. Oh, is that how he's been flipping himself over? Oh, well, then I didn't need to turn off the uh, arena hazards anyway. We've got Iceberg with 1,526 points. Insanity with 900. So Iceberg gets those heavy hits in, but... Looked like that first one sent him flipped over. Even with that tail... Even with that tail riding mechanism of his there. Doesn't seem to help much. Uh-oh. Looks like Insanity's lost his main weapon. Iceberg's definitely got the advantage now. Uh-oh. Who got counted out in the first one? Who got counted out first in the first one? Uh-oh. I don't remember. Oh, no. I don't remember. Oh, who got counted out first in the first one? We've got Insanity with... Almost no points at all. Or almost no no um almost no durability left at all. One more good hit from Iceberg and ooh there it goes. Ouch. Iceberg takes that. Um I remember that Iceberg definitely won that one, but the first match wasn't even like it was like it was um The first match was kind of like, um, it, it wasn't fair. They didn't even get to fight. They just sort of flipped over. Hmm. I'm pretty sure Iceberg won that one best two out of three. But just to be sure, let's do, um, uh, let's do a, uh, just to be sure, let's do a tiebreaker round. You've got Insanity versus Iceberg. You've got one last shot, Insanity. Don't let your team down. You would think that Insanity would have the advantage because his weapon seems to get up underneath bots and flip them over. He's, he's kind of got like a reverse spike thing going on. And there they go. I, ah, I see what's been going on now. Iceberg tries to get the heavy hit. But when he gets close to Insanity, Insanity's spike gets up underneath him first, and the momentum sends him over on his side. Iceberg right now is stuck on his side. Insanity's going to let him get it counted out, isn't he? Ooh, nice. Nice one by Insanity. Well, what do you know? These two are evenly matched, so that's one for each. Not counting the first match, because that one was kind of botched. One more time. Okay, let's see what goes down. The fans are ready for some action tonight. We're seeing some interesting robot designs tonight. Sorry about that. I wanted to make sure the point count was uh, marked down. From now on, I'm gonna mark the um, mark the uh, do a slash line for the tally of rounds. Woo! That way, I don't forget because um, the first match was so botched, I couldn't even remember who won it. They both just got counted out. It didn't even feel like proper. Insanity's going wild, flipping Iceberg on his back and on his side, now on his back again, racking up those points. Seems like he's taking the advantage in this one, not just letting Iceberg rest. Ooh, we got parts and pieces coming off. I believe that's one of Iceberg's wheels. Those triple spikes are tearing him apart. Whoa! 
Oh, Insanity won that. He got the perfect angle. Look at that pincer. He's just, that's kind of like a pincer bot uh, thing right there going on. As a matter of fact, if you changed out the, um, if you changed out the design on the bot, that'd make a great scorpion. We got Insanity winning that one with over 8,358 points. So I'll get that written down. And there you have it. All right, that's round one of the Robot Arena 2 DSL Mod 2.2's Tournament Robotic Champions Middleweight Division. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to subscribe for updates on future content. Leave any helpful comments you might have in the comment section below. Likes are always appreciated. And until next time, take it easy, my friends.